in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen greetings of peace and joy dear brothers and sisters on this sunday the word of god speaks to us about the power of god's word i wish to begin with a small testimony from my own life some years back i used to waste so much of my time in watching tv be it movies be it uh, television reality shows be it news channels i used to waste so much of time though i wanted to come out of it gradually i knew that i was addicted to it and a priest who used to guide me one of my spiritual mentor priest once he challenged me can you switch off the tv and pick up the bible can you switch off the tv and spend the time in reading and studying and meditating god's word this is my testimony my brothers and sisters though it was very tough almost 8 years back god gave me that grace to give up tv or that media world and pick up the bible and read and that has changed my life i can very sincerely say that one habit of spending time with the scripture especially in the evening hours which i used to give for tv when i began to give for the scripture reading studying meditating by hearting god's word that has changed my life maybe for the last many years now i don't have any desire to watch tv or go for a movie yes i read newspaper we need to have a, a general knowledge of the world that is of course needed but i by the grace of god don't waste time in front of the television screen or the entertainment media today in the gospel today in the first reading today from the book of isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 the lord says so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which i intended and prosper in the things for which i sent god's word will not return empty this is just and brothers god's word has a creative power we read in the we read in the book of genesis the lord god created us from the dust of the earth and then he breathed to unto, unto us breath of life we became alive when god's word entered into us again we read in uh, god's word in the second letter of saint paul to timothy chapter 3 verse 16 all scripture is god breathed all scripture is god breathed my sisters and brothers god's word is god's breath just now you are listening to my voice in fact what is my voice my voice is my breath traveling through my vocal cord and coming through my mouth and picked up by this microphone that you are hearing so one's voice is one's breath so when we hear god's word it is god's breath entering into us yes in the beginning god created us through his creative word but then in the in this life we have been deformed now how does god recreate us by giving us his breath which is god's word i'm in a retreat center last 5 years and i have seen how how the lives of people have been changed when they listen to god's word because that has a creative power god's word has a creative power god's word can cut through our body mind and soul allow this breath of god to enter into your life that has power to change and recreate you once a boy who came to our retreat center he told me father for long years for long years i've been addicted to watching pornography now i want to give it up i've deleted everything from my mobile phone from my laptop from all my gadgets but it is not going from my mind it is still playing on to my mind how can i delete it from my mind a very young boy very genuine person who wanted to overcome that 
weakness of the flesh was asking father how can i delete it from my mind as i was praying with him god gave me one inspiration a word of god that is psalm 119 verse 9 Psalm 119 verse 9 says how can a young man keep himself pure by meditating on your word question how can i keep myself pure by meditating on god's word psalm 119 verse 11 again says in order that i may not sin against you i kept your word in my heart i told that boy this is what you need to do you have spent long hours of your life in watching unwanted things now focus on to god's word begin to read begin to study begin to meditate begin to fill your mind with god's word that will change your life maybe 8 6 8 months later when he came a second time for the retreat and this boy said father that medicine has helped to me i have been able to overcome that bad habit of my life i have been able to cleanse my mind by reading constantly god's word sisters and brothers god's word again in letter to the hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says this god's word is living and active sharper than any two edged sword piercing to the division of soul and spirit to joints and marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart yes god's word can cleanse us pierce through our body mind and heart and make us a new creation god's word will not return to him without bearing fruit the word of god says in book of isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 on this sunday as the lord is inviting us to reflect more deeply about god's word let us also ask a, a simple question what importance do i give to the holy scripture in my life it is said if you read every day four chapters four chapters you will read through the whole bible in one year ask yourself being a christian for long years have you read the whole bible at least once if you have not read the whole bible at least once we should say ourselves that is very bad i am scoring very bad in my christian life let us make that sincere effort to read the whole bible the word of god has a power to change our life reading and studying and meditating on god's word is indeed a life changing habit can we begin that life changing habit in the gospel today jesus also speaks to us about the importance of god's word we have the gospel passage from the gospel of saint matthew chapter 13 where the lord gives us the parable of the sower the sower sows the seed the seed is god's word the sower is the lord and what is the soil the soil is our hearts just now we came out of our retreat house just outside into the village area where we have the farmers at this time of monsoon planting the seeds they are planting the the paddy fee the seeds we can just see behind us they have planted the seed the the green uh, uh, paddy is just growing there when the farmer throws the seed it it falls on to different types of soil the lord speaks about four types of soil meaning to say four types of heart soil is our heart and four types of soil four types of heart produces four types of responses first is the hardened heart that is the pathway the seed that fell on the pathway on a pathway different people walk and the pathway has become a hardened place hardened heart what happens the seed is carried away by the devil the the birds will come and eat it up carried away is your heart a hardened heart by allowing everybody everyone to walk into your life every thought pattern every philosophy every culture every media if you are allowing everyone to enter into your life your heart will become a hardened heart that cannot bear fruit is your heart a hardened heart which resist god's word are you resisting god's word at times i have heard people saying i don't want to hear god's word i don't want to go for a retreat i want to i don't want to listen to preaching hardened heart let us be open to god's word the second 
is the shallow heart shallow heart that that soil which is on the rock which does not have depth as a result it comes up but then when the sun comes it will dry away that is someone who has a shallow spirituality who lives on kind of a emotional uh, response to to god's word when they hear they are happy but when something goes wrong they give up are you a person who has kind of a emotional response to god's word but not ready to pay the price shallow spirituality the lord asks us to go deeper shallow spirituality will not help us to grow we need to make the effort make the sacrifices so that we can grow up in god's word the third response or third heart is crowded heart crowded heart what is crowded heart crowded heart is a person who has many other cares cares of the world and interests of the world that will choke up what is that a person who has not genuinely repented and confessed and plucked out the weeds from one's life that is that person when you have not made a sincere effort to pluck out the weeds from your life then the world will be overpowered by the weeds that is a person who has not made a clean break from the past yes that person is still listening to god's word but not ready to give up the old leaven old ways of living what happens the weeds will overpower and will not be able to produce the fruit then comes the the last fourth type of heart which is a fruitful soil the f- soil that is prepared like the farmers here in this field they have prepared the soil and planted as a result the the seed is growing is your heart prepared ready to listen to god's word fruitful soil receptiveness to god's word ready to change your life in accordance with god's word my sisters and brothers god's word is inviting all of us today look into your own life is your heart ready to receive god's word and bear fruit in 30 fold in 60 fold in 100 fold god when he is planting the seed he expects that we bear good fruit let us pray for the grace of god that the word of god may bear fruits in our lives amen god bless you